Ms. May, welcome to the media box of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. Thank you. You are a rapporteur for a report on ending cyber discrimination and online hate. Could you present us the objectives of your report? Well, what you see with reference to cyber discrimination and online hate is that in online fora, sometimes uh, the hate becomes so fierce that people don't participate anymore. And we think it's very important to have freedom of speech, to have freedom of speech when we talk face to face, but also to have freedom of speech on the internet. But the freedom of speech online should not go as far as uh, being so hateful and so threatening that people uh, are actually um, phased out of this freedom of speech. So then it's the antithesis of freedom of speech. At the same time, what you also see, what happens uh, online, because it is uh, sometimes very anonymous, uh, that uh, bullying, which starts maybe as a joke or as something from one person, uh, can become more fierce and with larger groups and can really interfere with the daily life of people. And sometimes also online hate goes from online to real life hate and to real threats of people. And this is something that we would like to try and, uh, and end. What will be your main recommendations to tackle uh, cyber discrimination and online hate? Well, what we've seen so far, we have looked at, uh, let's say, soft measures that people take themselves and also at the legal framework that exists right now. And in the legal framework, you can see that, uh, of course, discrimination and uh, hate speech um, is not allowed. It's not allowed in daily life, but also not allowed online. But the real uh, legal standards are not very strong. And especially when it comes to, uh, to hate speech, specifically towards women, or towards minorities, towards people with uh, certain religions, it can become very fierce. And uh, we are trying to find how we can, on the one hand, maintain freedom of speech, because this is really important. It's also one of the bases of the European Convention on Human Rights. But on the other hand, also make sure that everybody can enjoy this freedom of speech. What will be the next steps in the preparations of your report? Uh, well, the next step would be uh, in, uh, in September in the committee meeting to talk to uh, uh, media fora and to talk to, for example, platforms uh, like Twitter or Facebook to see in what way uh, they can uh, prevent and what kind of measures they already take. They can prevent uh, real hate speech and discrimination on their platforms. Uh, and then the final step would uh, be to have recommendations uh, towards, of course, the governments of the Europe, Council of Europe uh, countries to see what we can do to stop the online hate and to make sure that everybody can use uh, the freedom of speech freely. Thank you for this discussion and I wish you good luck with uh, your work. Hope You're to welcome. see you soon here at the Media Box. Thank you. Thank you.